Welcome back to another YouTube video, uh, and welcome to my brand new living room. This is my new house. I will be here for at least the next 12 months, because I'm, I'm renting still, but I've moved. It's interesting also with, with renting in London, you, you tend to have like a 12 month contract, and then after the 12 months it's like, do I stay, do I go somewhere else? And I typically have been of the mindset that, you know, if I have an option to go somewhere else and live somewhere else and, you know, have a new experience somewhere, I, I often take it. So for the last maybe seven, eight years that I've been living and working in London, I have moved pretty much every single year. And it does become a headache when you have to unbox a load of stuff every 12 months. And I'm not talking about the good boxes. Um, speaking of good boxes though, um, i.e. Rolex boxes, I have with me here, in this suitcase, oh, nearly dropped it, I have like nine Rolex boxes here, okay? Just to be clear, there are no Rolex watches in these, but because I've moved, obviously I've had to bring everything with me, um, but I need to put these in storage. So that's one of the first things that I need to do today because I just don't want to have Rolex boxes. I don't, I don't want anyone thinking that I have watches at home when I don't. What I did do this morning as well, I did sell a Batgirl um, and I dropped that off in central London. I'm picking up a watch later today, so you have to stick around to see what that is. And then also, in a couple of days time, I'm traveling. Now, I could Google this, but I'm not going to, just to kind of keep the suspense and like, give me some enjoyment. But, I'm going to a country, and I will wait to tell you where, but I'm going to see if I can get a watch from an AD over there. And what I mean by I could have Googled it is I could I could Google if there's an AD. I don't know if there is or not in this country because it's kind of like a it's kind of like a rogue one. It's a, it's a tropical kind of blue zone place on planet Earth. So yeah, we'll see. We will see. But for now, guys, this is where I will be filming content from now on. I'm not going to give you a a full house tour. Maybe at some point I will if you guys are interested. But yeah, I, I desperately need a table because at the moment I have absolutely no place to work. Um, so, bear with, the content might be a bit all over the place. Not that it usually isn't anyway, but I'm gonna head out. I need to buy a watch. So yeah, come with me. Okay, this is the watch that I picked up uh, yesterday. It is a 2021 Datejust 41 blue dial and it's jubilee and fluted bezel. It's a worn watch, but it's in pretty good condition. Um, I'd probably advise if you were interested in it to, to not ask for it polished, not because I can't be bothered, more just if you're gonna wear it, this is what it'll end up looking like in a couple of weeks anyway. So yeah, pretty cool watch. It's actually, uh, yeah, very nice. Really, really nice. You can only really tell that it's been worn like a few hairline marks on the on the shoulders and again, a few hairline marks on the clasp. This is a, a, a full set example. It's got both tags and all the booklets and the card as well. I do have a really big deal on the go at the moment, but I'm not able to share it just yet because I don't, I don't want it to fall through and, um, you know, uh, put bad luck on it. So I will wait to tell you about that one. All the boxes that I had yesterday have been stored away. I have made zero progress with unboxing all the stuff here. And I've also made zero progress with packing my bags uh, for the flight that I need to take at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning from Heathrow. So today will be a lot of packing and unpacking, um, but I'll probably see you at the airport and I'll tell you where I'm going. Okay, let's see. You. So, I'm currently in the Costa Rican rainforest. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but when I come away for like more than, I don't know, a few days, I feel really guilty. I don't know why, I just feel like I'm losing time, wasting time a little bit, not progressing, not developing. It's not, it's not good. <laughs> I know this is re it's not, it's not a good trait and you know, I wish I was different. I wish I could fully enjoy being away. Uh, the last two days have been a bit better for me because what I realized is coming away into an environment like this in Costa Rica, which is beautiful, it really gives me a new perspective on not just like my life, but you know, my, my business and all other things. And I think coming away from the UK, stepping outside of the day to day, running around, all that kind of stuff, 
it's actually really valuable. So anyway, we've got to finish walking around the rainforest and then I'll go back to the Airbnb. This is a private, would you call it a villa, apartment? Probably a villa. Um, so we're here for four nights and we've been somewhere else by the beach for another four nights. But yeah, this is where I'm staying. It's super remote. Um, but yeah, we just get lost in the, it's not a jungle, is it? So it is a rainforest, but yeah, Costa Rica, by the way, is absolutely amazing if any of you guys have considered coming and haven't yet i would say go for it you won't regret it plenty of stuff to do here um what have we done what have we done waterfalls hikes night walks to see wildlife uh went on a boat went snorkeling went to a private island called Tor tortuga um we're going zip lining seeing sloths and all that kind of stuff so yeah really really cool place um back to watches though I do want to see if I can get this, get any, well not any watch, but get a good watch from the AD. There's a, I'm pretty sure I need to Google this, but I think there's an AD in San Jose airport. Um, so let's see, let's see. I'll quickly show you inside as well. This is an Airbnb job, if you're interested to know. Um, there are hostels and hotels nearby, but Airbnb is, is just the one I think at the moment. So come and take a look. Oh, mess. It's, it's an absolute mess, isn't it? Just live out of bags. It's just how I've done life. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's it's basic, but it's lovely because you're just in the middle of everything. But yeah, the main thing for me is how do I grow my brand? How do I take this watch business to the next level? How do I do something different that hasn't already been done? How do I get people on board and to follow my journey and all that kind of stuff? And I think maybe sharing more about my life. I don't, I don't know. But anyway, I'll see you at the airport. You'll have to remind me to film at the airport because I'll be knackered probably. Let's try and get a watch the next time I see you. Bye bye. So basically, I realised that we're going home on Monday and I need to upload this video on Sunday. So I'm not going to be able to show you me in the AD at the airport. I'll wait until next video to attempt to buy uh, a Rolex from the AD in Costa Rica. I'll be going back to London, back to you know, normal living. I'm actually excited to go back. It's funny because when, you, when you're when you in structure and routine, like you kind of have part of you that wants to like get out of it. And then once you have the freedom to do whatever you want every day, you kind of want that structure back. So I'm, you know, nine days in now, I'm ready to go home and, you know, get a bit of structure. But as always, you know, I've got a bunch of watches for sale. Some of the most popular Rolex watches um, that uh, are on the market at the moment. Uh, GMT subs, you know, what Daytona's, all, all, all that kind of stuff. So if you're interested, please feel free to have a look at my website. You don't have to, but if you are interested, um, yeah, take a look. Also, Instagram, if you want to see daily watch content, of course, you're welcome to go follow there as well. Um, we can have a chat if you'd like. But for now, take a look at this. Did I unpack my stuff when I came here? Absolutely not. Of course I didn't, because that's not how I live life. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I will see you in the next video back in London. I've got probably 18 hours of travel to do tomorrow morning, so wish me luck. Hope you've had a, hope you've had a great day, and I'll, yeah, I'll see you soon.